Hi and welcome to 50 feet below. Today we're gonna color correct an image we took earlier this week um, and it turned out a little bit more, actually a lot more green than we wished. Um, this happens a lot when you dive and take images. Um, so we're gonna color correct it using Lightroom. This is a software by Adobe and you can get it online. Um, also we're using a raw image which has a lot of a lot more information than traditional JPEG images so it's easier to manipulate and get the colors back. Um, first of all we're gonna import the image and you select the source right here and there it is. As you can see it's really green. Pop it back open here. It's really green and it's actually, we can do a lot about it. And first off, we'll set the white balance straight and you do this with a little drop thingy here and you select a neutral backdrop. Um, like here we have a nice sandy spot, but if you are gonna take the fish or something, then the image is not gonna turn out great. So first of all, click right here and straight away you see the image brighten up, brightens up a little bit and the green tint is mostly gone. Um, there are actually a lot of ways to do this. Uh, you can do it manually by the sliders and you can use the tool. I think the tool is the easiest way. But sometimes in the image you don't have a neutral backdrop which you can use and you need to do it manually. Now if we look at the image right now you can see it's a little bit overexposed. So we're gonna decrease the exposure a little bit until we think it's fine. You can also look at the histogram on top. What you don't want is the levels clipping out on the left or on the right. This means you're over exposing or underexposing. We call this clipping and you actually lose information in the photo if you do this. There's an easy way to see if something's clipping. If you click on the right hand side or on the left hand side it's gonna show where it's clipping and if you see right here there's a little bit of clipping right here so we can deal with that later or you can even turn down the exposure a little bit more but the rest of the image gets a little bit too dark so I'm gonna leave it at this. If you look at the histogram again you see everything is really focused in the middle which is good so we don't have any clipping but if you turn up the contrast, you'll see the histogram moves from to both sides and this means you have a larger color cast over the whole image and this brightens up the image as well. Um, typically underwater images have low contrast because the light is falling into the lens in a different way. So you can really bump up the contrast a lot. Next up are the highlights. In this picture we don't have a lot of highlights. We can turn them down a bit. You see the clipping over here is getting less. And it doesn't really affect the rest of the image. Next up is shadows. If you turn them up, you get a more flat image. It actually brightens up the shadows. And what we can do is just make them a little bit darker. So you can see a bit more difference between the highlights and the shadows which is nice it gives you a bit more contrast as well um, then we get whites and blacks there's actually a really easy way to do this if you hold down shift and you click on it it turns automatically so you don't have to do anything it makes the widest pixel really white and if you do the same for the blacks it does the same for the blacks, so this is done automatically. Um, <coughs> if we go further down, the clarity tool is not really that great in Lightroom, so we're gonna pass on that. We can turn up the vibrance a little bit. What I always do is turn it all the way up and then go back until you think you can hardly see it anymore. And this is a way to prevent your overdoing the colors and it gonna look all chemical and manufacture it. You want to keep the colors as natural as possible, especially when you do color correction. Uh, saturation, I really don't use that, that that much because I really don't think it's that awesome. Okay, if we look at the image right now, it's 
already more lifelike than we had. If you press the backslash key, it actually flips back to the way it was. And you can see it's way more green than it was before. And now it's pretty much cool. Okay, we're gonna leave it at that for now. Um, we're gonna do a sequel on this video and we're gonna use the tone curve a little bit more to put just a little bit more contrast in the image. Also, we're gonna do some split toning and you can use the brush tool to highlight some areas to accentuate some parts of the image. And also we can fix this clipping if we want to. Um, also, we're gonna take it into Photoshop and use the Nick collection, which sharpens the photo a lot and we can get rid of a lot of those little floating parts in the image. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. Also, we would love to hear some things you do to your images. Um, and maybe check out our brand new website at 50feetbelow.com. See you on the next one.